ਆਵਾਜ਼ ਮਾਰਦਾ ਅੰਦਰ ਨੂੰ ਮੇਰਾ ਆਨ ਸਾਈਮਨ
here down too. All right, good afternoon everybody, or good morning, depending on where you are. Um, if you don't know me, my name is Miss Karen, and what we're gonna do today is a lot of stuff. We're gonna do some activities for like literature activities or literacy, and then we're gonna do some math, and then we're gonna do some handwriting, and we're gonna do some writing. Um, before we get started, I'm gonna go through the activities that we're gonna do, but as I was getting ready for this um, lesson, I realized that this one can be, could be kind of challenging. So I just wanted to throw it out there. I'm gonna do this one towards the end um, because if you feel like your child needs, you might wanna make another copy of this. If you feel like your child needs those words to manipulate and kind of glue into place, kind of like one of our making sentence activities, I would print another one of these. I'm gonna model writing the sentence. But like I said, as I was doing it, I'm like, oh, that might be kind of challenging for some kids. So if you feel like they need those letters, all I would do is make another copy of this, I would cut this out and then just cut the pieces. And then when we do that first sentence, as I'm writing it, your child can kind of put it together. But we have a lot of new kids um, that are gonna be starting this today, which is awesome. Um, parents, if you don't know who I am, my name is Karen Green. I'm the owner of The Reading Corner. It's here in Tampa, Florida. Um, we got a lot of requests for this um, afternoon's class. Um, and I know I kind of say this a lot, so I'm sorry if some of my new, my like current families are on here, but we started this um, because we had to start um, close our school because of the pandemic. And um, right after we closed, we decided that we were gonna start virtual classes um, for our own kiddos in our school. And it just became such a need elsewhere that we opened it up to everybody. So I'm thrilled that you guys are on here. I say this every time, the way you can say thank you back to us is if you would just tag at the reading corner dot at the reading corner online on your social media and make sure you tag us so it goes into my messages and I can share it. So tag us while your kids are either doing this virtual or doing an activity afterwards. So um, if you either got the free curriculum or if you are um, getting the curriculum from the website or you don't have the curriculum, which is fine, you can still, um, like your child can still follow along. Every time, um, today is Wednesday, so every time on Mondays, once you, if, if, if you decide to um, become a member of our website, every Monday, you literally go to Access Library, Karen's Weekly Picks, and Preschool, and you're going to see Kindergarten Week 4 for next week. But always check my stories, always check my posts on Reading Corner Online, make sure you follow us, because um, every Saturday or Monday, I go through exactly where to find everything. Um, so today... If you um, have our curriculum, it's gonna be Wednesday. And just to show you really quickly the activities we're gonna be doing, we're gonna start with this activity. Ah, sorry. We are compacting so much of what we do into an hour. So typically our school day can be anywhere from four to eight hours. So you're taking those big chunks of our whole group time and we're compacting them. So if this feels like a lot for your kids, it could be. Um, you might want to go to where you can watch them on our YouTube channel and be able to stop. Um, so we do three sections. So right now we're going to do our literacy stuff, then we're going to do math, and then we're going to do handwriting and writing. So if you feel like this is a lot for your kiddos, just go and check our YouTube, The Reading Corner, and watch the um, taped ones so that you can kind of stop. Or we only do classes Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. So on Monday and Wednesday and Friday, or Saturday and Sunday, if you really want to, you can go and um, use lessons from those ones as well. So let's get started. Um, we typically do our letters uh, in our morning classes. Um, it's called I Say You Say on our YouTube channel. So during the kindergarten one, I typically go straight to the funny phonograms. If you don't know what funny phonograms are, basically in the nutshell, funny phonograms try to hide in between words. So we don't know how to sound them out and we don't see them. So anytime we see a funny phonogram, we underline it. And I'm gonna show you a little bit of that today. So all you have to do today for these is I'm gonna say I say, 
I'm going to do the phonogram and then I'm going to say, you say, and make sure you say the sound and you do the movement that I'm doing. Cause that's really going to help. Okay. All right. So let's get started. Ready? I say a, you say, I say, ow, o. you say, I say, R. you say, it's kind of like a pirate. I say, ch, k, sh. You say, I say, th, th. you say, this one's our, one of our newer ones. We're going to add more next week. I say, mm. you say, kind of like crunch up your nose. I say, k, two letters. You say, I say, sh. you say, I say, e. You say, I say, er, like in first. You say, I say, oi. You say, I say, ooh, uh. You say, okay. So those are our funny phonograms. We just kind of go through them really quickly. If you want to do all of them, we do have a phonograms movement video on our YouTube channel. So you can do all of them or you can do our I say, you say. We're going to move quickly so you guys get this activity out that you have the frog. So this is the way we're going to do it today. Um, so basically it says, say it, glue it, and then write the word. So what I'm going to show you today is how we phonetically write words. It's kind of a weird word, isn't it? So what it means is when we just start sounding out words, we might not hear all the sounds that we hear. So I'm going to show you how I just stretch a word out. And then I say, as, I write as many sounds as I can, but we're going to do it a little different today. I'm going to say a word and then you're going to figure out which one I'm doing. So you're going to have to pick from them. I'm not going to just go from the beginning to the end. So parents, I'm adding a little phonemic awareness in here, which is hearing sounds. Okay. Ready? What's my word? Jump. Mm, never mind. Hold on. What's my word? Kite. What's that word? Kite. What sound do you hear at the beginning of kite? K -k -k. Good. So find your K and we're going to put the K here. And now let's try to hear all the sounds that we hear in the word kite. Listen, K I T. Write those letters. K I T. Okay, I'm going to write them for you. K I Did you get that? Kite. Now, if you sound it out and you look at it again, it actually looks like it says kit. Does anybody know what letter is missing? It's the silent E. And at the reading corner, we un double underline our E's at the end, our sneaky E's, so that we remember that it's there, okay? So my next word is, this is gonna be a long word, rain bow. What word did I say? Okay, let's play a quick game with that one. Say rainbow. Now say rainbow without saying rain. Bow. Say rainbow. Now say rainbow without saying bow. Rain. Yeah, that's a kind of fun game. All right, so what sound do you hear at the beginning of rainbow? Like that motorcycle. Brr, yeah. So I'm going to put my R. Oh, man. This is a really big word. So I'm going to chunk it and I'm going to try the first one. Rrr, a, mm. Sound out those words on your paper. Rrr, a, mm. Rrr, a, mm. Okay. I'm going to help you a little bit. This one has a funny phonogram at the end. It says, Ow, o. Oh. So this is what you're going to write. B, ow. Sorry, b, o. Oh. So you're going to make that b, b, belly. And you're going to write that left phonogram. And if you remember, what did I say we do to those funny phonograms in our words? Write it first. B, o. Oh. We underline it so they can't hide anymore. And just so you know, the word rain actually has an A in it. 
but I'm showing you guys how we sound out all the sounds we can make. Okay, this is my next one. Ba, ni. What's that word? Ba, ni. Okay, it's a bunny. Remember, we've talked about this before. A bunny, a B has a b, 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 and a D has a d, d, diaper. So do you see the b? Yeah, it's a really long word. Listen, b, a, n, e, b, a, n, e. What sounds do you hear? B, a, n, e. Can you write those? B, a, n, e. Okay, let me see if I can do it. B, a, n, e. So you notice that this is called phonetic writing because I sounded out all the sounds I heard. Now, because I'm a teacher, and I want you guys to know how to spell that word if you want to. This is the way you spell bunny. It's kind of silly because it has two N's and an I, but you don't have to write it like that. However you wrote it is awesome. Okay. All right. The next word I'm thinking of is the word fr og. What word is that? Frog. What sound do you hear at the beginning of? It's like fang. Frog. The F. Okay, I think this one's going to be pretty easy. So let's see the four sounds we hear in it. Er, ah, g. Can you try that? Write these letters. Er, ah, g. I think we can get all the sounds. F. Er, o, a, g, g. We did it, frog. All right, the last word is jump rope. Well, we're gonna play that game again. Ready? Say jump rope. Now say jump rope without saying jump. Rope. Say jump rope. Now say jump rope without saying rope. Did I say that right? Let me try that again. Say jump rope. Now say jump rope without saying jump. Rope. Say jump rope. Now say jump rope without saying rope. Jump. I don't know if I did that right. All right, we've got our J. Oh, it's another really big word. So we're gonna sound out the first, and we're gonna chunk it. We're gonna start with the word jump. Listen, j, a, uh, m, mm, p. Try to write those words, letters. J, a, uh, m, mm, p. Okay. J. Ah, uh, mm, okay. Now let's try the second part of the word. Er, o, p. Er, o, p. You writing it? Let's write it. Er, o, p. Hmm. I hear it makes the long o. So I know if a uh, word makes a vowel makes it sound, there's something sneaky at the end. What's that letter that can sometimes say sneaky? It's the E. So write an E at the end. And do you remember what I just told you we do at the reading corner when we see a silent or sneaky E? We underline it. We put a double underline. Okay, good job, you guys. We're gonna flip our paper. Oh, we've got some rhyming work to do, okay? So I've got some words here, and I think you guys have the words there as well. Let me make sure. All right, I'm thinking of a word. I'm sure you do. Yep, you do. All right, I'm thinking of a word and it's a little insect and it starts with an A. Do you have one of those insects that start with an A? Hold up that card if you have it. Did you find this one? Ant. So this is kind of the fun, easy way to remember rhyming words, is rhyming words sound the same at the end. Okay, so this is what I'm gonna do. And you guys can do this if you want to. I'm gonna go ahead and write ant. at the end. And now all I have to do is fill in the beginning. Can you think of some words that rhyme with ant? 
What word would that be? P ants. Pants. Let's see. What's another word that would rhyme with ant? R rant. It's kind of what kind of like when you're mad, you go on a rant. Okay, the next word I'm thinking of starts with an S and it's really hot. Do you have one of those pictures? Hold up the picture of the object that starts with an S and it's really hot. Did you pick that one? Okay, so again, what's the ending of that word, do you think? Un. So if you want, guys, go ahead and put un. And then I'm going to give you a second to think of your own rhyming words. Let's see. I know one. Sun and f -f 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 fun. So I'm going to write fun. You can write your own words. Sun and f -f 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 Fun. Yep. All right. Ant, pant, rant. Say that. Sun, fun, fun. Say that. Do you see how they all sound the same at the end, which means they rhyme? Okay. I'm thinking of a word that we just used this Sunday. And I bet you guys had one of these hunts. What did you hunt for? on Sunday, on Easter. Eggs, yep. Now this one's gonna be kind of silly because you have to put the whole word. So it's not like we're just gonna put the E or the G, G. We're actually gonna put egg and egg. And listen, if I'm going too fast, you can just do as much as you can, and then you can finish it later. This is kind of just to show you how to do the activity, but if you're keeping up, that's really great as well. So if you want to write the word egg, or your mom or dad can write the word egg, and then we gotta think of some words that rhyme with it. Hmm, ooh. Yeah, leg. Huh, this is kind of silly, because I hear the word leg, but this isn't how you spell the word leg. Did you know that words can rhyme, but they're not spelled the same way? So if we cross out that G, then it still says leg. But listen, egg, leg, do they still rhyme? They do. Do they, are they spelled the right way? No, they don't have to be spelled the right way for them to rhyme. They need to sound the same. All right, so let's do that again. Let's cross out that G. And let's think of another word that rhymes with egg. Thinking of something that a dog does when he wants a treat. B -b 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 beg. I know our dogs do. Okay. All right. We've got two more. I think we have a couple more. And I'm just gonna do one more today, okay? I'm thinking of an insect that buzzes. What insect buzzes? A bee, okay. Do you see, we went, I don't think we went over this. My um, EE -E card is missing. But EE -E says E, okay. I'm thinking of, so of course I'm going to underline that EE. -E. So go ahead. And we're getting a little sloppy. Go ahead and make those EEs. All right, I'm thinking of a sight word that we use all the time. And it starts with the C. So here's something you might not know, but at the reading corner, when we see a sight word or a trickster word, we circle it. So we can circle that word as well. Okay, let me think. What about the word? Mm. E, me, <gasps> this is one of those silly ones again, because it sounds, it rhymes the way it sounds, but it doesn't look the same. 
what's wrong? <laughs> Excuse me. What's wrong with this word? Yeah, it has too many E's. So I'm going to cross out one of those words, those E's. Listen, be me. Do they rhyme? Yeah. Do, are they spelled the same? No. All right. So you've got a couple more that you guys can finish when we're done. We're going to move on to this activity, the one that I thought was going to be kind of hard. And we're probably just going to get one of them done. And I like to have as lots of activities so that you guys can figure out how we do them. And then you can finish, finish them later because we got math to get to and mm -hmm. handwriting and writing. We got a lot to do still. So. All right. So these are mixed up sentences. And so if you made the little cards, you can try to put them back together. But let me tell you something that I know for sure. It's like one of my tricks when I'm doing mixed up sentences. The word I know, how do you think I know what word is going to be at the beginning of the sentence? A trivia question. What do we always put at the beginning of a sentence? A capital letter. So I know that the sentence is always going to start with the word that has a capital letter or the uppercase letter. Which word do you see that has a capital letter? She. So I like to cross them out as I, well, I write it and then I cross it out. But the word is going to be she. So I'm going to put a capital S and then an H and then an E. Now. Do you see something that we can do to this word? Do you see a phonogram in there? Yeah, it's the H, S-H. So I'm going to nicely unblind. Okay, she, I got to really look at this picture to try to figure out the sentence. She knew loves her bunnies. She knew loves her bunnies. Does that make sense? What do you think it's supposed to say? She loves her new bunnies. Okay, so now we know the sentence. Now we gotta really pay attention to how we write a sentence. We always put a stomp in the middle of our words, right? I'm gonna show you two ways that you can do this. You can either look at the word and try to write it, or as a challenge, this is what I do. I look at the word, I take a picture of it with my brain, and then I close my eyes and I see if I can figure out what the word is and I try to write it without looking at it again. Okay, so I said she loves. Yeah, okay, do it either way. I'm gonna look at it, I'm gonna get a picture, click, I'm gonna hold it, I see all the letters. Okay, I'm gonna try to write it without looking at it again. Let's see. Uh, she loves stomp. I put a stomp. She loves her. Do you see a word that starts with the sound? Yeah, this one's easy. H E R. H E R. I'm gonna take a picture. Click. H E R. Okay, I'm gonna write it. Stomp with my finger. H. E R. And you guys don't know this yet, but E R is actually er most common boss ER. It's a phonogram. Um, she loves her, what word did we say? New. Do you see the word new? Look at it. It's just three letters N E W. Try to write that N E W. Say that N E W. Try to write it without looking at it. Can you do it? Let's see. Oh, stomp. N E W. That word bunnies is a really hard word. In fact, I think we wrote it back here on one of our papers. So I'm going to have to look at it as I write it. So this is what I do. B, then I move my finger, U, N, N, I, E, I, E, S. Oh, that got kind of sloppy. She loves her new bunnies. What do I put at the end of a sentence? Yep, I put a period. Okay, so you guys have two more sentences that you can do after. Is Miss K on, Andy? All right, so we're gonna take a little break. First of all, let's just take a break first. Mm, I'm gonna let Miss K do it because she's got a um, music game to get you guys up and running a little bit. 
So everybody say, wave to Miss K. And Miss K is going to start our math. <laughs> Hello. Hey, everybody. It's Miss K. All right. So I have this cool math song. It's called Counting to 100s by one. But you need to stand up for it and you need to move around and we're going to exercise our bodies and our brains together all right so i'll turn on the music everybody stand up here we go all right first let's clap mind and body in shape let's get fit have some fun count to one tell me your number one by, by ones one. ready to okay, exercise ready? and count stretch your arms stretch your arms count go to one, one two, two three four five six seven eight nine ten What's stretch next? Your legs. Stretch your legs. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Pump each arm up. Pump your arm. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Two arm circles. 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. Shoulder shrugs. Shoulders. 41, 42, 43, 44. Good job. 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. Elbows back. Find your elbows. 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60. Good job, guys. Cut your toes. 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70. Let's walk. 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80. Here we go. 1, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90. Clap up high. Clap up high. 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100. Woo! Oh, you guys did a good job. That felt good, right? Let's get fit. That's right. Show me number one. Five ones. Woo! Oh, tomatoes. <laughs> that was fun. Thank you for doing that. Get it off and let's do this. So I do have a special math worksheet that Miss Karen made for me. Let me show you what it is. Have you ever played the game dominoes? Okay, so what this is is a bunch of dominoes. You have a worksheet on this week's curriculum that looks like this. So it has the dominoes where we're gonna count and it has a math problem. So we're gonna do math problems today. So this is the worksheet that we'll be working on. Now, I have that same worksheet, just bigger, so we, we can all see it. All right, so let's do some counting. The first dominoes that I'm looking at is right up here. So what we're gonna do is first we'll count each domino and we'll write the number. Ready, Freddies? Let's do it. One, two, three, keep counting. Four, five, six, seven. All right, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna make a number seven in the first square. Let's make a seven. It goes across the sky and down from heaven. That's the way you make a seven. Good job. All right, now we're gonna do the plus symbol because this is a math problem. We're gonna be doing addition. And then the next domino tile, how many, how many dots do you see? We don't even have to count it because it's just one. All right, 
looky there, we have our first, first math addition problem. Let's see what seven plus one equals. Oh, well, let's count all the dots on the, the two dominoes together. And that will be the sum. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. <gasps> we just did our first math problem. This is so exciting. We counted to the number eight. So we know seven plus one equals eight. Let's do another one. All right, here we go. We're gonna do this one. We'll count the first domino. One, two, three. I love to make the number three. It goes around a tree, around a tree. That's the way you make a three. Then there's a plus symbol, and then we'll count our next domino, both the upper and the lower. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, so we're gonna make a six. Goes down, make the loop. There you go. We have another math problem. Now this one's a pretty big number. Three plus six equals, let's find out. Let's count all the dots on both sides. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Oh, we just solved another math problem. So let's make a nine. So we know that three plus six equals nine. Good job. Let's do another one. This one's kind of easy peasy. Let's make sure you can see it. There we go. All right, so one, two. That's all the dots there are. So let's make a two. Here we go, round and back on the railroad track. Two, 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 plus sign. Okay, now let's count all the dots on this domino. One, two, three. Write a number three. All right, now we need to figure out what two plus three equal. What's the sum of two plus three? Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, I like the number five too. So two plus three equals five. Let's do it again, then we're gonna do a cheer. You ready? Oh, this one looks like fun. It looks pretty easy. Let's count this domino. One, two. We like twos. Two plus, let's count this. One, two. Two equals well, let's see what two plus two equals by counting all the dots on both sides. One, two, three, four. All right, two plus two equals four. Real quick, I thought we could do a cheer. Okay, you ready? It's called hip hip hooray, because you guys are doing this. I'm proud of you. Touch one hip, touch the other hip, and then hooray. You ready? Hip, hip, hooray. One more time. Hip, hip, hooray. I love seeing you guys do it. Nice job. All right, let's knock this next side out. Here we go. Let's count the dominoes on this side. One, two, three, four. All right, we're going to make our four. Straight line down, across, and down once again. Good job. Four plus. All right, let's count the dots on this domino. One, two, three. Ooh, yeah. What does four plus three equal? Do you already know? Let's count and make sure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yes, lucky number seven. All right, the next one. Okay, this one might be the trickiest one of all of them. You ready for a tricky one? Because I think you guys are good at this. Let's count this side first. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, let's make a number five. And the plus sign. All right, now let's count this side. One, two, three, four, five. Another five. That old five. 
All right, so what does five plus five equals? You know what, this one's kind of fun to do um, in tally marks too. Fives are fun in tally marks, aren't they? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. I love fives and tally marks. All right, so let's see, what is five, five plus five equal? Do you know already? Let's count and make sure. Let's count all the dots on both sides. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ho, ho, ho! That's our biggest number yet. Do you know how to make a ten? It's a one and a zero. Line down and then make a big old zero. Ten. Nice job. You guys are big kids, right? I see it. All right, let's do, we have two more math problems. This one, let's count this domino. One, two, three, four. Down, over, down once more. That's the way you make a four. Okay, four plus, this one's pretty, pretty easy. One, two, do you see that? Okay, so make a two. So four plus two equals, do you know already? Let's count and make sure. One, two, three, four, five, six. Four plus two equals six. Oh, it's our last one. And we've had so much fun with dominoes. Here we go. Let's count this side. One. Straight line down. Easy peasy. And how many is that? Do you know already? One, two. All right, do you know the answer already? Probably. One plus two equals, let's count all the dots. One, two, three. Whoop, whoop, we did it. Nice job. So I was thinking we're gonna go on to some handwriting, but before we do, do you mind if we get up again? <laughs> Cause I really wanna do the math shakedown. Have you done the math shakedown before? Okay, it's numbers. So what we're gonna do, we'll stand up in just a sec, but you're gonna use your right hand and you're gonna to count to five, waving it five times. Then you'll stand up and you'll wave your left hand five times. Then you're gonna shake your foot, your right foot, and you're gonna do it five times. And then your left foot five times. And then we'll do it four times, three times, two times, one time, done. Okay, you ready? It helps us work on the right and left sides of our bodies too. Okay, here we go. Sorry, you can't see my whole body, but we'll start it. All right, put your right hand up. Right hand up. Okay, you ready? Five times. One, two, three, four, five. Left hand. One, two, three, four, five. Right foot, it's on this side. One, two, three, four, five. Left foot. One, two, three, four, five. All right, back up on our right hand. And what we're gonna do is four. One, two, three, four. Other side. One, two, three, four. Start four down here. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Good job. Three. One, two, three. Faster. One, two, three. Foot. One, two, three. Foot. One, two, three. Two. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. Now just one. One with your right. One with your right, one with your left, one with your right, one with your left, and you did it! That's called the number shakedown. Whoop it is. Okay, back on track. Okay, it's gotta get all set up again. We're done with math. See you, math. <laughs> All right, so, ooh, you may be wondering, Miss K, what letters will you write today? Well, I say, I really like the word like. How do you spell like? Oh, where's my, I think I have it here. It's one of my favorites, L-I-K-E, like. And the movement for the word like is you pull it out from your chest, you use your thumb and your third finger, you pull it out from your chest, it's also sign language. It says L-I-K-E, like. 
I like the word like, so I thought that we'll write it. So we'll work on the letter L, I, K, and E. All right, so that's the word, the letters we're gonna work on today. The first letter, or first, first letter we'll work on is an L. Oh boy, this is easy peasy because an L is a straight line down. And my, my class, because I work with younger kids, we work on top to bottom. We always start on the top. Can you make four L's on your line, on your paper for me? Top to bottom, top to bottom, top to bottom. Last one, top to bottom. That was super easy, right? I'm glad you guys did it the right way though. It's very important to start from the top and go down to the bottom. All right, the next one we're working on is the letter I. So it's kind of like the L, but it has a short line. You lift up your, your pencil and you go back and make a dot, okay? So short line down, touch the bottom line, pick up your pencil, make a dot. Now I did it, can you do it? Let's make, let's make four. You ready? Let's do it together. Short line down, lift up your marker, your pen, pencil, make a dot. Do it again, short line down, touch the bottom line, lift up your pencil, make a dot. Let's make one more. Short line down, touch the bottom line, lift up your pencil, make a dot. All right, now this next letter, it's my favorite. It's the letter K because my name is Miss K. All right, so K is fun. It goes top to bottom, kick in, kick out. Okay, now I did it. Can you do it? Let's do, let's do four. Ready? Top to bottom, kick in, kick out. Top to bottom, touch that bottom line, kick in, kick out. Let's make another one. Top to bottom, kick in, kick out. Boy, you guys are good at handwriting. I see all of your pencils working. I'm so proud of you. Makes me feel good. All right, the last letter is an E. E can be kind of tricky, right? So what I say, I like to say a bridge, or you can make a line across, go up and around, touch the bottom line and stop. I gotta move mine down, don't I? All right, so let's do it together. That's how Miss K did it. Can you do it? Okay, let's make a bridge, line across, go up and down, up and around, touch the bottom line. Good job. All right, let's do it again. Line across. Go up and around, touch that bottom line. Woo-hoo-hoo, -hoo, you guys are good at ease, nice. Okay, one more, one more. Miss K's almost done. Line across, go up and around, touch that bottom line, and you're done. Woo-hoo. All right, so Miss K is done here, but before, can we do a cheer? Let's see, let's do, that's one we haven't done for a while. I love hamburgers. You guys wanna do hamburgers? Okay, make your patty. You can make any kind of burger you want. You pick, pack it in good. We're gonna put it on the grill. It goes like this, shh. Can I hear you? Shh. Is it done yet? Shake your head, no. Not yet. Put it back on the grill. Shh. Is it done yet? Yes, it is. Thumbs up. Well done. I'm proud of you guys. You guys did a nice job with your math and with your handwriting. And you did a lot of moving and, and jumping around with our counting to 100 by ones. I'm proud of you. See you later. Okay. Oh, and I'm not echoing either. All right, thank you. So Miss K actually did letters, and I think I told her to do letters, and I meant to tell her to do numbers, which is great because I had three activities left to do, and I didn't think I was going to get to it. But you guys have 
these letters on a piece of paper and the instructions are on that. So you guys can just do that on your own later. And remember we talked about that book chart where you guys can put stickers for everything. We're gonna do this activity really quick and then we're gonna move to our writer's workshop, okay? So get this activity out. It's got a little bit of handwriting on it as well. So we're gonna go a little quick with this. Okay, I see a cupcake. What did I just say? Cupcake, let's play that game again. Say cupcake. Now say cupcake without saying cake. Cup. All right, so I see the cupcake. What sound do you hear at the beginning of cupcake? So you're gonna take the, hit your thing, your pencil, and you're gonna go from the C and go to the cupcake. And then we're gonna practice it. Let me do it first. Start at two o'clock, touch the bottom line, stop. Now you practice writing it. Start at two o'clock, touch the bottom line, stop. All right, this is my word. S -a -n. What word do you see? Sun. What sound do you hear at the beginning of sun? An S. All right, so go from the S and go all the way up to that sun. Connect them. And now we're gonna do the handwriting with it. My turn first. Start at two o'clock, around, down, touch the bottom line. Now you do it. Start at two o'clock, around, down, touch the bottom line. All right, my word is art. What word did I say? Heart. What sound do you hear at the beginning of heart? An H. Oh, that's easy. Go straight across. Okay, I'm gonna practice it first. Watch me. Straight line down, come up and make a hump. You try it. Straight line down, come up and make a hump. Awesome. Okay, my word is butterfly. What's that word? Okay, let's play that game again. Say butterfly. Now say butterfly without saying butter. Fly. What sound do you hear at the beginning of butterfly? B -b -b Good. All the way up. Does a bee have a b -b belly or d, d diaper? It has a b -b belly. So we make the line first. Watch me. Straight line down, touch bottom line, come up and make a belly. Now you do it. Straight line down, touch the bottom line, come up and make a belly. Okay, I'm thinking of this word, rain, bow. I've had a lot of those today. What one is that? Rainbow, say rainbow. Now say rainbow without saying rain, bow. And what sound do you hear at the beginning of rainbow? Rrr. All right, so we're gonna take our R and go all the way down to the rainbow. I'm gonna practice it first. Short line down, come up and make a little hook. You try it. Short line down, come up and make a little hook. Okay, great. The last one is plow, foo, ow, er. Flower, okay. Um, what sound do you have at the beginning of flower? Yeah, an F. Watch me first. Little hook down, come up and make a dash. Now you try that. Little hook down, come up and make a dash. All right, good job, you guys. Okay, we're getting into our writer's workshop. Oh, I don't know what I'm gonna write about today. I write about my cats a lot. And the kiddos in my class, they know about those cats, right? And sometimes I write about my kids. So what's the thing I need to do first? Name on my paper, first thing, miss. Karen, and I just saw some familiar kids um, today on here. I saw Emma, hi Emma. I saw Cassius, hi Cassius. I saw Brody and Aiden, hi Brody and Aiden. I saw Emerson, hi Emerson. Um, I saw Kinsley, hi Kinsley. All right, so we are going to write about I'm just gonna pick one of you to write about. What I noticed while I was looking at you guys is that Brody and Aiden got glasses. Did you guys get glasses? They're so cute on you. So I'm gonna write about that. I'm gonna say, my friends got 
new glasses. Let's clap it. My friends got new glasses. Let's line it. My friends got new glasses. Okay, so I'm gonna write them. They're at a little table, so cute. Maybe I'll pick one of you guys to write about every day because I know a lot about you guys and I could write something. I'll think about it. If you want me to write about you, then you can put in the chat something that you are good at or that you like. And Mr. Andy can write it down and then I might pick you to write about tomorrow. So you can put something, there's a place that you can chat. So you might wanna say like, today Cassius, I saw him eating one of those um, Uncrustables. So he could write that and I could maybe pick that to write about tomorrow. So if you want me to write about you tomorrow, put something in the chat, even if I don't know you and you wanna write something, put something in the chat with your name and I'll write about it. But today we're gonna write about Brody and Aiden. So I'm gonna draw them. And I'm gonna put these cute little glasses. They both have kind of spiky hair. So I've got Brody and Aiden. And parents, why do I feel like I'm spelling Aiden's wrong, name wrong? I feel like I am. It's been a long day. So if I spelled your name wrong, I'm sorry. So parents, what I do is if I know that there's gonna be a word that's gonna be hard for them to write, sometimes I'll go ahead and put it up here. And it's kind of like my own little trickster word wall. So I know friend, is gonna be a hard word, okay? So I wrote, my friends got new glasses. My, how do we spell that word? M-Y says my, yeah. Yeah, why did I, I did spell it wrong. Did you, did you know that or did she correct me? It's uh, Y. Oh, A-T-Y-E-N. I don't know why I spelled that wrong. M-Y says, what am I doing? A, ah, forget it. I'm just gonna be silly today and spell his name wrong. M Y says my my friends. Hmm. I feel like I saw that word somewhere. Where did I see that word? Oh, that's right. I wrote it here. Okay, guys, let's look at it. It's a really hard word. So I'm gonna chunk it. F R I E N D. F R I E N D. Say that. F R I E N D. E N D. Let's try to write it. What were the first three letters? F R I. Don't look. What were the other three letters? E N D. E N D. My letters are kind of tricking me today because they're getting a little sloppy. I better make sure that I'm writing them really nice after this. My friends. So there's two of them. What letter do I put at the end? An S. My friends got g a t g g g. What letter do you hear? G. I'm gonna write really nice and neat because I don't let my letters trick me when I'm writing. G a o t t t t. -t. New n u n. Ooh, glasses. Let's sound that out. Glasses. G g g g. Ooh, l a s. E e e. And that's pretty exciting news. So instead of putting a period, I'm gonna put a exclamation point, yeah. And again, because I'm a teacher and someone might wanna write these words, I need to make sure that I'm writing them the right way. So new is actually N-E-W. And glasses is kind of tricky because it actually has two S's and it has an E and then an S. My friends got new glasses and I'm gonna circle M-Y says, all right, so we did a lot of work today. You guys gotta give yourself a pat on the back. Remember, we will be back tomorrow, and I love that you guys, some of my bigger kids are joining this class because you are totally ready for this class. So we'll see you tomorrow again at three o'clock. If you 
have writing that you want to share, send a picture in my messages on Instagram and I'll put it on my Facebook or my Instagram page, the writing that you guys did. I'll see you guys tomorrow.